Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. How are you? I hope you are having a great day. Right now we are looking at the strange system going on in the Atlantic Caribbean thingy, the tropical area. Uh, it has definitely made it farther west than the models had predicted. So this is going to be one to watch. But the main reason you are here is probably because I said, is this our first hurricane of the season? And do you think I would let you down? Or try and clickbait you, baby? Hell no. Now with volcanoes doing scary things in Hawaii and Mother Nature dropping 50 inches of rain in Hawaii and floods in Kenya and a lot of craziness all over. But yes, this is for the 21st of May. And so, whether or not it's a hurricane, a tropical storm, a hybrid, a WTF storm, a Quetzalcoatl storm, this is definitely going to be one to watch. And only is it going to be one to watch the entire moisture situation. This is going to be something that everybody should pay attention to. Because technically, I would say, when I saw these frames, even before I saw the thing that looked like it could be a hurricane, the moisture situation was alarming. We were talking, the crazy rain bands are just out of control. Out of control. There you go. See how it all gets pretty green? <clears throat> Let me... Kick top backwards if you can. I mean, I'm like, let me go backwards. Let me go. What do you do? Oh, okay. Whatever. Anyway, so there's giant. The green is rain. And so, look how big these storms are. Europe, you're about to get pounded. I'm pretty sure with wind and rain. <clears throat> what is that Azores High doing? Look at that thing right there. That day. See, look at this. Like, look how much more. Look at this giant dragon of a system. So you got all this equatorial electro jet line moisture popping up. You got our upper Pacific moisture popping up. But look how this thing. <clears throat> I mean, the, look at the storm and then the, all the moisture levels and just the rain band how these storms stay connected it's amazing and so I mean this almost even looks like two yeah, so whatever this thing is I want you to pop up now it's two weeks out so nobody's guaranteeing nothing but I'm saying just the moisture situation alone it's gonna be a reason to watch this thing I guarantee you we're gonna be watching this thing extremely closely because anytime it draws up something and look how quick the iso bars get tight baby it goes from like a thousand and one and then it quickly goes to the what, 960 987 so the next few model runs on this thing is going to be fascinating because it definitely looks like it's tightening up um, and it could look at all the moisture it will have to draw from and if it connects up with this system up here from this system in the bottom that could be a major disaster and as I've said that someone pointed out to me I think they got it from Dutch since it was one of the top people at earthquakes on YouTube that when the caldera of the Hawaii volcano all the lava disappeared the floor dropped out the last time that happened we had the earthquake and then the Fukushima tsunami so I recommend everybody be on at least alert for another week and we still have the giant coronal hole in the sun so I mean if they're worst worst case scenario you live on the coast and you better be ready to get out of your house and on the highway and heading in a direction opposite if it happens to be a tsunami with I would say 
30 minutes, 20 minutes, you know, multiple plans on how much time you might or might not have. You know, that I live in Houston, so let's say in this area, you had like an 8-4 earthquake, I would grab my laptop and my car keys and I would be out the door. I recommend everybody do the same. Now, one thing we're going to do here is we're going to look at the thermodynamics. Nope, that's very easy, buddy. I'm looking for some type of a temperature thingy here. Where are you? You won't be able to find it. I've let you down. Dang. I want some temperature. It's just so I would know about how hot it's going to be. Because if that's going to be super hot, then that's going to be super problematic. Yeah, as you can see, it gets tight, so I'm pretty sure that's going to be a problem. So you're going to keep an eye on that and let this run through once or twice on here. And so yeah, we got more storms coming. So we had Puerto Rico get devastated last hurricane season. Now we have Hawaii, which is getting devastated, undergoing major volcano eruptions which are melting houses and highways and roads and wow look at how the on this one you can see it's almost like a binary watch how it one low starts here and then as that one forms so yeah especially with because there's a volcano by france that started going off and now quite a few volcanoes going off right now so Everybody really needs to be on top weather alert. Like I said, we have Puerto Rico's taking major damage. Hawaii is taking major damage. So it doesn't seem like that people that are concerned about the island states or territories of the United States, to me, we're all part of America. So we really need to take our wake up game up one more step. Because if you can't see these patterns and trends, they're getting worse. I don't know what to say, man. I really don't know what to say. But like, yeah, as someone who has been hammering this home to you for five years, like we are way beyond the like evidence stage. But see how these two. This one here and this one here. Watch how they together. They almost lockstep. See that? Crazy stuff. And with the high here and the high here, it seems like this has room to get low. So. You know, it's time for everybody to Bring the A-game. For sure. So, is this our first hurricane on the 21st? I don't know. But, I would definitely start prepping now, everybody, to put weather and hurricane awareness at the top of your priority list as Americans. It's like, this thing that's going on right now, the model's None of the models had it coming anywhere close to this west. Like, let's go back over here, I guess. Let's go to this one. All right. Notice how, so this is that system. Like, on here, this doesn't do it any justice. Like, this is the system we're looking at now. Here is that. See how this seems to be at least way better formed? than whatever the models are saying it are. And the core of it is almost already over here. So, the model over here, basically it's not giving it any formation or showing any shape. And then it tears it apart and moves it east. Where I've been saying the whole time, two systems like this usually come together. So, this area may come together somewhere around the New York, New Jersey area. I don't know. Either way, it looks like there's a lot of moisture associated with this system. 
So this needs to be monitored now because that thing is in the ocean now. You feel me, Chief? Are we Capici? Did I say that right? Yeah. Let's go over and look at the... I mean, I've been watching on this one. This one's mesmerizing. No, don't do that to me. Yeah, this one is definitely mesmerizing. And just all this dry air around it, and the fact that this thing is being so resilient in the face of all this dry air is, is pretty incredible, in my opinion. Whoa, look at that donut. Well, it is Saturday morning. What better time for donuts? Watch that little donut hole in the... Yeah, there's something happening here. But it is... I'm not perfectly clear. Notice at the very end, it really starts to whipped cream can the moisture into the atmosphere. So that is adding a whole lot of moisture. So this storm looks like it's capable of... Wow, look at the, the blotches coming out. Man, we could see some crazy days ahead. Yeah, this could be a whole lot more moisture than they originally expected for Florida and part of the Atlantic coast. Man, I'll stay on it. And I hope you will too. Talk to you guys soon. Have a very wonderful day. And stay cool. Peace out.